Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. In this session, we are going to talk about movement request. Like if you are from EBS background, it's a move orders. In Oracle applications, ERP, in EBS applications, we were calling it as move orders. We were calling it as move orders. Here we call it as a movement request. So whenever you want to move the goods from one sub inventory to another sub inventory within the organization, within the organization, then we are going to use movement request. There are three types of movement requests. A requisition movement request, we have a requisition movement request, a replenishment movement request, shop floor movement request. We are going to get three different types of movement request. Requisition, replenishment, and shop floor. Three types of movement requests we have. We'll see first what is requisition movement request. Whenever we are trying to manually transfer the goods from one sub inventory to another sub inventory, then our manually we are performing. That this word is important. Whenever we try to do it manually, then we are going to use a requisition movement request. In this scenario, first we will be creating the movement request. After creating the movement request, then what we will do? We will run the movement request, pick slip request. We are going to run the program. We are going to run the process. What this process will do, it will allocate. It will physically move the materials. Physically move the material and confirm the pick slip. Whatever the pick slip number is there, whatever the pick slip number is generated from this process that we are going to confirm so that the goods will be transferred. Goods will be transferred over here. Then what is the replenishment movement request? This is second category. Replenishment movement requests are, that are generated whenever we are working with our min-max planning method. We have next sessions. What is min-max planning? There are different types of min-max planning methods we have. That time we'll be discussing about this replenishment movement request. So whenever we try to generate min-max planning, that time the minimum quantity and maximum quantity will be specifying. So that time the system will automatically transfer the goods if we have less or more quantity. Okay. And shop floor movement request is mainly for manufacturing modules. Whenever we are working in the manufacturing modules, whenever we are creating the work orders in manufacturing modules, whenever we try to create the work orders in shop floor, we are going to have the movement request like WIP supply, work in process, supply locations, or directly whenever the work orders are created from warehouse locations, we are going to create shop floor. But I will not be able to show you this because I don't have much idea about manufacturing. We are going to see the two types. One is a requisition movement request. Another one is a replenishment movement request. These two we are going to see it practically. Okay. Now the difference between sub inventory transfer and movement request. We are talking about movement request also is nothing but transferring the goods from one sub inventory to another sub inventory within the warehouse or facility. Right. Then what is the difference? Because in our previous sessions, we have already done sub inventory transfer. The major difference is in sub inventory transfer, there is no paperwork. It means there won't be any documentation prepared to move the goods. Without any documentation, we are going to move the goods from one sub inventory to another sub inventory within the inventory. Whereas in move order, we are going to generate the paperwork that is called pick slip. We are going to generate the document. After that only, we are going to move the materials from one sub inventory to another sub inventory. We call it as a pick slip. The document, we call it as a pick slip. In sub inventory, whenever you are doing, there is no reservation or allocation. Whenever you do the sub inventory, immediately the goods will be moved. There is no question of the goods are reserved and other person cannot go for allocate those goods. Immediately, the goods will be transferred. Whereas in movement request, the moment whenever you create a move order, the allocations will happen. Internally, system will go for allocate the material. So you can place hold on the material with the intention of packing it up a little later. 
it means you can hold the goods now and later you can go for transfer those goods okay then we can also have the approvals in move or request in moment requests we can configure the approvals it's a pre approval process whereas in sub inventory transfer we cannot configure approvals in sub inventory in sub inventory that's the major difference between sub inventory transfer and moment request okay so in the next session i'm going to show you how we can go for create a moment request and how we can move the goods from one sub inventory to another sub inventory by working with the moment request option okay thank you